So in my career, I have always taken the initiative to lead even though I wasn't the one actually in charge. And I have found that there are four main benefits that you get when you do this. And I think these four benefits can benefit you as well. So the first benefit is it increases your influence or it gives you more influence when you lead, even if you don't have the title yet. And basically what happens is the higher your involvement is at work, the more or the higher your input is uh, into like daily operations or into operations in general. The when you're taking the lead and you're doing new tasks and you know you're taking on that responsibility that you don't have to, it gives you a seat at the table, uh, even if it's a figurative table, um, where the more involved you are, the more input you can have on changes that can occur or on things that need to be updated or revised. And so this is a really good benefit if you're unhappy with where your department is or you think your department could do better in some areas by you taking the lead even though you don't have the title, you can drastically increase your influence in order to bring about the change that uh, you know, maybe you should be brought about in your department. The second benefit that I've seen when you take the lead, even though you're not in charge, is you gain unique insights in this position. So of course, it's not normally a defined position, right? If you don't have the title, but you're leading, um, you don't actually have a, you know, a new title, but people will treat you differently, or at least people will open up to you in a different way, or at least this is what I've seen in my personal life where you know, there are things that maybe they're not comfortable telling their boss, but they're comfortable telling you because they still want, you know, maybe someone in leadership to know, but, you know, maybe they don't have a strong enough relationship with their boss or they're too scared to actually communicate that to their boss. You'll, you'll get access to a lot of new information that you didn't have access to before. And, you know, that can really help you because what you can do is you can actually take that information and you can try and bring about that change without actually exposing or hurting either party, right? If my coworker had an issue with my boss, but she was uncomfortable telling my boss, then I can take that information and try to bring about that change in a respectable way myself so that the department as a whole gets better, but you know I'm not betraying the trust I have with my coworker and I'm not hurting the feelings of my boss. And so by taking on this responsibility or taking on this leadership role, even without the title, you'll gain access to unique information that no one else has access to, not the boss or not other coworkers. And so that really, really helps with you drastically increasing the amount of value that you bring to the table. The third benefit of doing this that I have found is it stretches your ability. So naturally, when you step into more of a leadership role, again, even without the title, you will, you know, by default, take on more tasks or new tasks. Very often, you know, you take on a new task, figure out how it works, and then you, you know, train and communicate that to the rest of the team. That's a very normal thing for someone in this position to do. And what that does is it stretches your capability and increases the amount of value that you're able to add to the department. And of course, as we all know, the more value that you can add to the department, the more important you are, the more valuable you are, and so the more that you you know, eventually get paid. And so that is one of the major benefits that I have seen you know, pursuing leadership uh, even without the title in my career, is that you get access to more or new tasks that no one else has access to, and it stretches your ability and increases your capability, which always looks good on a resume. So the fourth benefit of doing this, I have found, is that it's a great way to practice leadership without the risk. Right. So a lot of people, when they first get into leadership, when they have that manager or that supervisor title for the first time, there's um, 
I get, there's a lot more risk that gets involved with you doing certain things because you have that title, you command that much respect. And so a lot of people really struggle with either having too much authority or too little authority and don't really understand the boundaries between the two. Whereas when you're in this position where you kind of step into leadership without the title, you can actually, you know, naturally, slowly over time, figure out those boundaries, right? How much authority should you be practicing? How little authority should you be practicing? Again, because you don't actually have the title, you can't really command authority. And so it really kind of pushes you more towards the influence side of things if you want certain things to get stuck certain things to get done, which I think is really healthy because I think a good manager is looking more to influence people and not command them to tell them what to do. And so by you taking on that role of being in leadership and not actually having that title, you can actually drastically increase your influence skill and figure out how to navigate and how to work with people through influence rather than through authority and so by taking on that responsibility this it creates a really really good safe environment for you to figure out those boundaries and really practice that skill before you actually have that title where the risk goes way up because you actually have that title so those are the four benefits that you get when you go ahead and step into a leadership role even though you don't have the title you can if you are if you want to grow in your job if you want to grow in your skill this is a really really good way of doing that um, you get a lot of practice, you get to figure out the boundaries, you get to stretch your ability, you get access to unique information, and you really get to understand how to influence people in a positive way rather than a negative way. And you just can add so much value to your team and you can really make your resume look really, really good. So take advantage now while you have all the upside and none of the downside of actually having that title yet. Figure out how it all works, figure out your style, your influence, and uh, you can drastically benefit your career and add a lot more value to your team. Thank you for watching this video. This channel is all about how to increase the amount of money you make at work by decreasing the amount of time you spend at work. And we do that by being value focused instead of time focused. So if that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button. I post two videos every single week. And if you have any comments or questions about this video that you just watched right here, go ahead and comment down below and I'll be happy to answer it for you. And uh, until then, I'll see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,